Okay, if, if we could organize all nations into a cooperative structure, uh, what goal should we be working towards? <laughs> the goal should be everyone should be satisfied their real needs. And uh, each individual should know what is his or her real needs and uh, stop the wastage of commodity or resources more than one's own need and uh, the, a need-based economy to develop a need-based economy not in a, a kind of uh, consumerism uh, a need-based economy, not a greed-based economy, that should be goal of the uh, world cooperation. Only then you will have a sustainable economy. Otherwise, there's no way to, uh, unless your consumption becomes a sustainable, a sustainable economy can never be built up. All the resources are uh, uh, finite, and if you, you, your usage is uh, infinite, then there will be no um, stability. So therefore, people should know the needs and uh, then uh, the economic should be based on the real needs. That is absolutely important. How might a system of world peace, world peace. in which the supremacy of humanity over uh, matter and ideology be maintained? I don't know. Uh, Equality is the basis of uh, peace and uh, anyone uh, maintains uh, some kind of uh, supremacy then uh, the real peace uh, appears to be difficult. Justice, equality are the basis of uh, real peace for which uh, no one should have any supremacy over anyone. Okay. Um, okay. My question is now relating to. Uh, do you think? Okay, um, is now going to relate to universal responsibility, and the idea of uh, of the Tibetan the Tibetan government is trying to liberate the Tibetan people into uh, into meaningful autonomy, and with the greatest respect for the nobility of the cause and the necessity of it, and the imperativeness of that for all humanities humanity. Um, is it not uh, only a, a national, uh, a national government rather than a universal government? Which so it's only nationally responsible, rather than universally responsible. Uh, we do not uh, believe uh, in the so-called nationalism. Uh, we also do not believe the necessity of uh, uh, national. Uh, government or national, nation state theory. Nation state theory divides uh, the humanity into nations and uh, into states. All humanity are equal. All humanity are brothers and sisters with each other. But uh, we are working for a certain degree of autonomy for the uh, Tibetan people with sense of universal responsibility. The Tibetan people has a, a uni universal obligation. Our universal obligation is to preserve, promote, and disseminate the unique uh, spiritual and cultural heritage of Tibet, which is very much relevant and beneficial to entire humanity. This is our universal responsibility. Each one of the Tibetan people has a universal responsibility to share our spiritual heritage to everyone, with everyone uh, of the humanity. And uh, in order to perform that universal responsibility, we need certain degree of freedom, certain degree of autonomy, within which we are able to uh, function ourselves, according to uh, 
the need and according to the uh, requirement of the uh, spirituality and its uh, functioning and uh, to perform the responsibility and for which we are seeking the um, uh, uh, meaningful autonomy and uh, if meaningful autonomy is uh, granted to the Tibetan people the Tibetan people will able to uh, perform its universal responsibility so the autonomy itself is uh, not an um, end it is a mean the end is uh, the proper performance of our universal responsibility and uh, enable to do that we need a certain degree of autonomy so therefore it is a performance of a universal responsibility um, okay if um, uh, do you feel that the Tibetan government structure and the ideological, the ideological structure of uh, spiritual and tempor temporal rule united would be a good model for an international system of government whose uh, sovereignty, as it were, its autonomy was self-granted um, and it's, as its universal um, responsibility, it grants it unto itself. It isn't granted it by the Chinese or anyone else and its home would be the entire planet. Do you feel that would be a... a uh, do you feel that would be a, a useful system or at this time? Useful system, the combination of uh, the combination of, sorry, to set up a global uh, government um, with the Tibetan government and exile structure and you are sovereign. Yeah, but not, not of everyone, just of anyone who, who chooses. Right. Who chooses. I think so. A system which is a void of uh, morality and spirituality that will not work uh, beneficial in long term for its people. Any system which is based on truth and the morality, only then that system can deliver the justice. Therefore, the separation of uh, state and the church is a good but a separation of state and morality, uh, it is a disaster. So therefore, a combination of uh, temporal with the spirituality uh, uh, is, uh, I think, uh, the real uh, uh, basis of uh, happiness for everyone. Okay, so uh, I think our time is up. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is uh, that is pretty much everything. I just like to say thank you very, very much. Yeah, and my greetings to all of you. Well, thank the humanity shall have to uh, reduce its desire, and uh, without uh, reduce the desire, you cannot uh, reduce the competition, and uh, without. Uh, Reducing the competition, you cannot build up in the cooperation. And uh, without cooperation, you can never uh, uh, eliminate the barriers as nations or as states or as uh, countries or so on and so forth. So, therefore, uh, people should understand themselves. The self-realization is the, I think, first step to know what is one's need and what is one's desire. The greed and desire, the removal of greed and desire is the uh, uh, essential uh, way to, uh, to break down the boundaries between the humanity. And this is possible, but nobody has tried it.